Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We have a septic tank issue on the homestead. This is not our general content that we put out, and I'm glad about that because I hate this job with a passion. What we've got is an issue of the drain line got completely plugged, so it's, it's not usable. You can't clean it out once it gets completely plugged. So what you do is you just get in here, dig you a new line, we got our septic tank pumped yesterday. What we're gonna have to do is put a new, complete new field line in. And to do that, instead of cutting that off and trying to get in there beside the old one, I'm gonna come in from the side and put a new hole. So here's how to do it. If this ever happens to you, just follow these simple instructions and it'll go as easy as you can expect something like this to go. Let's get with it. First of all, measure down and see how far down your, your exit is and put your next hole the same. So you're gonna wanna measure down, mark it with a pencil, and then just bore some holes until you can knock it out. <laughs> All right, once you get the holes drilled, which is, in my opinion, gonna be the hardest part of the job, just take a hammer and gently tap, tap, tap until it gives way. It will give and it'll, it'll blow right through, so. All right, now you see there's a concrete baffle built into these tanks. We have to recreate that. Of course, I'm not gonna go in there and build a concrete baffle. So we're gonna build a baffle out of PVC using a three inch T and a stand pipe, and that stand pipe's gonna be the baffle. And so we're gonna glue that on right quick, and then we'll pull it through and start hooking it up. and stick it in. You gotta, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next, we're gonna put the gravelous 10 inch field line in, in the ditch, and there's a yellow line on top that always goes on the top. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is get it hooked up to the actual pipe. So let's do that right now. All right, now we've got us some concrete patcher. It's kind of a hydraulic cement that we're gonna to use to seal this pipe off that's coming out. And also to plug the old one where 
sewage can't get in it and go down there and come out because we were having problems already with the sewage plugging up in it and coming above ground. So we've got to plug it off and get rid of that. All right, we're just going to mix it with water right quick. One thing you don't want to do, you don't want to get wet cement on your skin. That stuff will eat a hole through your skin. Not real fast, but prolonged exposure will cause concrete poison. It's called cement poisoning. And so you don't want to do that. Now we're going to mix this up real quick and get to work patching these things. You want to make sure to mix it thick. You don't want it too runny. Before I do that, I'm going to tape the main trunk to the PVC so that over time, when we put pile of dirt in and stuff, it don't try to dislodge it there. All right, next we're gonna start by putting gravel around the very front end just to make for sure that when we put the dirt in, it doesn't jam it down, try to rip that pipe off. Right. Time to put the lid on, get it all covered up. That wasn't very good to step in, was it? done not the best job in the world not the funnest job in the world but it's a job that had to be done because you can't have your septic tank plugged up so we're pretty excited to have it finished we hope if you ever run into this issue you'll see what to do it costs a lot less if you do it yourself and we just rented this backhoe and it's not that bad it's 150 bucks half a day if you go to Livingston I don't know you know <laughs> how much it'd be where you're at but whole lot cheaper than having somebody hired to come do it so that's all we've got for you today we hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video